It's common knowledge that men often dominate STEM fields. What isn't so well known is that this gender gap only gets larger as we move up in academic and professional ranks. But why does this gender gap exist in the first place, and why does it get worse as one moves through school and their career? In a column in the Chicago Tribune, Samara Hernandez argues that this is because of something called unconscious bias. Unconscious bias is the unconscious stereotypes we hold about groups of people that usually aren't like us. University of California law professor Joan Williams says that these unconscious biases manifest in ways that discourage women from pursuing education and careers in STEM. Williams' research found that over two-thirds of women in STEM fields say they've had their expertise in their field questioned. Almost half say they've been mistaken for administrative or custodial staff at work, and more than a third of women say they feel pressured to act in a stereotypically feminine way at work. Williams' research was broken down by race, and women of color reported facing even more bias. And besides discouraging women from working in STEM fields, these biases explicitly keep women out of the workforce and out of leadership position. A 2012 study found that when STEM employers received two identical resumes, one with a female name and one with a male name, the male applicants were regarded as more competent. That's the work of unconscious bias. Of all the challenges that students in STEM face, women, and especially women of color, have to navigate one more, unconscious bias.